Thanks for inviting us in tonight at 11. The future of abortion restrictions for Indiana is a bit more complicated tonight after a House committee made even more changes to the current proposal at the Indiana State House. Our Emily Longnecker kicks off our big story at 11 with a look at what changed, what it means, and what's next. Another busy day here at the State House with 111 people testifying in front of a House committee after they passed an amendment that made major changes to the Senate's abortion bill. Amendment 25 adds an extra step in the prosecution process for illegal abortion cases. Under the revised bill, an oversight task force would review cases and recommend them to the Attorney General for possible charges. Amendment 25 also takes away the affidavit requirement from SB1 and gives all victims of rape or incest 10 weeks to get an abortion, regardless of age. Under this same amendment, clinics who perform on abortions can't anymore. Instead, only hospitals, emergency care centers, and doctor's offices run by hospitals can perform the procedure. The language in Amendment 25 also tightens up the law to make it more certain doctors could have their license suspended if they perform an illegal abortion or fail to report one. All of these changes came before the public testified Tuesday, many of which were medical professionals. Balancing the risk of criminal pros prosecution with the need to act quickly to make a medically indicated decision and save the life of a patient is a nearly impossible task. As you know, Indiana, like many other states, is experiencing a health professional shortage crisis. So we want to ensure that Indiana does not create an antagonistic environment for providers. We need every possible advantage to recruit and retain them. Others were on the opposite side of the issue and encouraged lawmakers to consider a total ban. Murder is murder. You cannot legislate it away. Um, and uh, God, will, God will be watching you as, you as you legislate here. We'll be praying for you. There's a lot of opposition. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, hatred against, against this, uh, this idea. Get that. It is murder. It's a divine restraint put in place for all humans for the betterment of society. It's God's law against murder. After more than 100 witnesses and over eight hours of testimony, the bill passed out of the House committee with a vote of 8 to 5. House members returned to the State House at 9 a.m. Thursday morning to hear this bill read for the second time, and they'll also hear those added committee amendments. It's at that time that the House could also add even more amendments, so this bill is far from being in its final form. All right, Emily, thanks so much. Now, tomorrow, a Senate committee will also take a look at a potential inflation relief bill for Hoosiers. They're looking at House Bill 1001. This would give Hoosiers a $225 tax refund, and it also allocates $56 million in services to women and children. We'll see if the Senate goes for that proposal, considering they wanted to offer inflation relief through capping and suspending certain state taxes. But the bill proposing that idea might not even get a hearing in the House. You can follow along with tomorrow's big developments by using the WTHR app.